everyone, welcome to Open Water Swimming. We're here in Leeds in Otley and it's a lovely day today, first one of the year for me. I'm just back from Spain, which I was there in a camp getting a bit of warm weather. Um, yeah, and come and, come and join us on our Open Water Swim. So you know how last week we were in doubles and one went that way and one went that way and high fives yeah. and then sprinted back? Right, today <laughs> you're in threes. So one will go anti, one will go clock, and one goes one straight lap. down the middle. Clock. So one goes that way, one goes that way, and one goes straight down the middle. All three have got a high five in the middle to then turn around and come back the same <laughs> way you came. Do that three times. Right? And then you're gonna go big loop three times, which is that one, that one, right out to the end and back again three times. The first one is working 10 polo arms after the boy. The next one is before the boy, so you need to sight it, do 20 strokes in with your eyes closed and see if you can hit the boy. <laughs> like we did eyes last week. Closed. Yeah, yeah, bit of blind well, swimming. Did it. Bit of blind <laughs> swimming. And then on the last big loop, you're just doing a controlled steady effort. And then uh, your little bit at the end is going that way on a triangle and then do the triangle in reverse and that's it. Yeah. Oh, is it cold? I didn't have any, uh, didn't have any, like... Oh, that's hot! Nice to down, peace and drama! Not been in, well, I've not been in yet this year, so uh, it wasn't too cold, just at the end. But Fridays are quite easy days, so. It's nice to be back in open water. Yeah, I was dread the first one of the year, but that's actually all right. Quite a big group of us today, we did some fun stuff, some games and some sprints. It's good. I get a bit allergic to the, yeah, I get a bit hay fever. Like one of those gorgeous old Africans. Richard Rather knows coaching. You guys, I don't know. So we're less than, like we're three and a half weeks away from the Olympics now. So less than four weeks. So yeah, things are going to be pretty busy and I'm just going to be fully focused on training. Um, but yeah, I'm off to the gym now and then physio. I've got a busy day. I guess it's just an easy one though, isn't it? 130, that's fine. And I'm just doing an hour easy spin on the turbo. Because obviously got all those heat adaptations from Spain trying to hold on to trying to hold on to them. Um, and feeling really good, like generally quite good off the back of it. So um, yeah, just gonna try and get my core temp up around 38.5 let's have a look see what it's at there we go 120 like i've obviously not done any altitude since i've been doing triathlon but i did it quite a bit as a runner um, and i just found it i found it really hard 
but also I just think you can really overdo it as well. Um, and I know you can overdo it in the heat as well, but I just uh, I feel like I get a good stimulus of it. It, it. I don't know, I just feel like it works for me. I just think with altitude you have to, I don't know, it's very like specific as to when you're going to peak and because I've not done it for so long I don't know exactly what day I'm good at because you can be really naff coming down you can really struggle, like you can not be really rubbish like I'm in. you alright? yes please uh, yeah is that alright? that just makes it a bit warm oh there we go yeah so I'm heading off um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning to Hamburg so I've got couple days easy now into the race and then race Hamburg and then I've got something like 10 days back here or 10 or 12 days back here and then Paris and yeah full, full steam ahead I guess after that. No I've got like a general obviously like training plan um, but yeah no not not like trying not to overthink it to be honest. Um, I just want to go and in a way it is it is close now like don't get me wrong it is around the corner but it's still like there's still time and like I think it'll get it's beginning to become like feeling really real but it's not like like it's three weeks tomorrow but it's not like a week tomorrow <laughs> so it's still like long enough away yet and I still feel quite relaxed about it all the training's been going well so um I'm just staying at home obviously so I'm trying to keep things as normal as possible uh, in the last like days going into it so I'll be at home until five days out and then I'll go to Paris and then it's probably going to be a bit of a whirlwind that weekend and then I'll be racing for a night and then it'll all be over <laughs> it is you know comes around every one every four, four years so I think yeah it is a big deal but I'm just trying to not uh, make it more, if you know what I mean? Like, I race the same people week in, week out, you know, it's... I'm just kind of going with that attitude because, for me, anyway, if I make it more of what it is, then I probably won't do as well, so I'm just going with the kind of... I've got to do the same things in every race. You know, I have to have a good swim, I have to have a good bike, and I have to be there by the run to use it so I'm just you know as long as I kind of go with that um, attitude I think I'll have a good race. Okay. Got hard now. It doesn't bother me anymore. The heat? Well, no. Do you find this hot? Yeah. Yeah this is like more than Singapore hot. Is it? Yeah. I did I did a session here yesterday and uh, <coughs> I got out and I had about four or five bottles but only two let's like split between the, across them all because I didn't want to do too much you know and I got off after 90 minutes and I've done like 45 minutes of it was like over 38.5 core temperature and I got off and I was like I nearly threw up. I felt really rough. And then I had a really cold shower, which I don't do cold showers, but I did yesterday for like 10 minutes, just sat down. Because I thought if I was going to stand up, I'd pass out. And David was like handing me a brownie while I was in the shower. <laughs> because I was just, I needed sugar. But yeah, that was, that's the worst I felt. I looked like a tomato for about two hours afterwards, but. Yeah, it's quite nice. Just getting it done. Let's see the core. I'm about 38 degrees now. In how long? Because it doesn't seem like too long. No, 15 minutes. Do you have like a cutoff point? 30 and a half. Although I got to 39 yesterday. What point's like dangerous? Probably 
doing that. Yeah, it's been really good to just like bounce my questions off them both. Even like I've been riding a bit with Lizzie and I've been asking her questions, I guess because they all did London 2012 and they all got medals. So like, obviously that's my aim, but yeah, it's been quite interesting like asking them and the same questions and separately and they all have the same answer. So yeah, and I think I've done everything I possibly can do. Like I, I trust my coaches, you know, I trust that they've got me in the best shape. So there's nothing really left to kind of worry about. I just have to race now. I think I've got the best team. I really do, and yeah, I, I believe that they've they've got me in the best shape. So yeah, there's just nothing left to do really except just stay in one piece, obviously, and then just do what I know I can do. I feel I believe I've done everything I can, so it's kind of a nice position to be in. I had to drop some faster running stuff, like some run sessions and I really had to just commit to getting better on the bike and in the pool and I had to trust that that was the best thing to do and I did that and that was quite a hard move for me just because it was, yeah, what's out of my comfort zone so yeah, anything out of your comfort zone is I guess hard to do and it was kind of untested wasn't it so I didn't really know it was going to work but I was willing to try it and give it a go and commit to it for three six months when it did work so you know uh, yeah I think it's just about yeah it was a bit trial and error but I think we found something that works and yeah I think we're in a good position this is a cool down really I've only got 13 minutes left so that's okay Heat suits come off. <laughs> yeah, I just do that to accelerate getting my core temperature up. Two minutes. Damages. Thirty-eight four. It's all right. Five point one heat string. Cool. Right, let's go. Good riddance for a couple of days. I feel, um, I felt a bit weird all day, to be honest. I think it's because the weather here is a bit close. Well, it's nice out here. Right, so I um, finished all my hard stuff here in Leeds. Um, I head to Hamburg tomorrow. I've got the World Series on Saturday. And then I'll be back to Leeds and I'll just be, yeah, head down probably won't see me until the games to be honest um, and yeah hopefully a good training block going into that uh, and I'll see you on 31st of July <laughs>